Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for origami. We are going to be making these birds today and uh, you don't need any fancy origami paper but if you have that, that's great. I'm going to actually be using some notebook paper and I'm gonna show you how to cut that down to size. So let's get started. Okay, so to get square paper, we are going to take our notebook paper or our printer paper or whatever we have that's not a square piece of paper and we're going to fold it so that one side lines up like that. So you've got a diagonal side right here and it's lined up right there. So you just have this one strip down here at the bottom that we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut off that strip. like so. So now we have a nice square piece of paper and we're actually gonna leave it, fold it like this in a triangle. And then we are going to take this point and we're going to fold it up like that. Only about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway so that we get this almost like, like boat shape. Now, both of these sides are going to turn out to be our wings. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take just this top flap here and fold that down about halfway so that we get this diamond shape here in the center. And then we are going to take this point here, this tip of a wing, and fold it to meet this tip. So that now we have this sort of shape here. Next, we're going to take this tip again, this whole piece that we just folded, and we're gonna fold it about halfway back again so that we get another diamond shaped here in the center that's got a fold right down the middle. So then we're gonna flip the whole thing over and then we're going to take the part that we didn't fold before and we're going to fold this wingtip to this wingtip. So it should look like that. And that's almost our complete bird. So what you're gonna do from here is you are going to take one end or the other, and I think I'm gonna do this end, and make that into the head of the bird. And you're just going to fold it in just a little bit, just to give our bird a beak. Like so. And you can leave it like that, so that your bird has outstretched wings, like it's flying or you can fold your wings down so that it looks like it's flapping its wings. Or you can even fold your wings back one more time. Kind of whatever you're feeling, whatever you want your bird to look like today. But there you go. You now have a nice looking paper bird. And you can do this with any kind of paper. You can even color the paper before or afterwards. So that was our origami for this week and I will see you again next week.